Welcome back. So in this video, we are going to do the lab 16. That is actually simulating a DOS attack. So DOS is basically a denial of service. Uh, we'll be using Kali Linux for this and Wireshark as well. So if you want to follow along, if you have your Kali set up, you can see the uh, these instructions here, follow along and here are the rest of the instructions. All right, so let's get started. Let's let's start our Kali Linux. Make it bigger. And Firefox ESR, that would be it probably. So now they have these files on uh, uh, here, right here. Okay, we're gonna go to an IP address that is 192.168.122.168.1.1. So this, of course, uh, the this website uh, or web page loaded up pretty quickly, and I think that's what it is about. So after we simulate our uh, attack, it will take some time to load the page. I think that's what uh, is this lab about. Okay, so applications. Sniffing and spoofing, sniffing and spoofing, and then Wireshark. Gonna be the very last one here. <clears throat> I don't, oh, I do have a prompt. So, network analyzer. It says in the Wireshark, Wireshark network analyzer window from the menu bar, click capture and select option. So, capture an option. Wait, it is. I don't see it. In the Wireshark network analyzer from the menu bar, click capture option in the Wireshark capture interface window. Type capture a filter. Capture filter for selected interface. Okay, yeah. TCP port 80, TCP port. 80 and click start minimize the wireshark window and one thing i wanted to say where it is right here you see there is no activity so it's not like you hit start and it will start generating log file and by the time you are doing something it will keep the log file going up 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 and of course so it with that filter it will only capture once the TCP traffic hit and since on this machine no TCP traffic is going on so it's just waiting for it to happen <clears throat> now it will we are opening Firefox ESR this page loaded so if we, are, we were to um, please minimize And if we go, technically we should see some traffic. Oh, we haven't started it yet. That's why. All right. In the browser window. History. It's, oh. Okay, so it used to be the old one. And clear recent history. Uh, 
and everything offline all right clear now so it's been clear in the terminal window okay now we go to the terminal finally and I think that this command is the one that is basically the simulation of uh, Dosset 192.168.122.173 switch P on that defining what port on the I think the I like this size or how many time numbers something like that switch capital S and switch lowercase q R A N D source the the another thing that i don't like about these uh, labs from u certify they don't explain like what the switch why we are putting that switch there for uh it will help a lot if we know what that switch is for so you know it it it's makes you remember and, and understand better for the next time now you just now you have to go and learn about those switches on your free time where, where it will take only just maybe a couple of lines to explain why it's there so i think it's gonna 40 header plus zero data bytes so it's not a sing uh, your normal ping where you can set up the file size it's basically going through an H ping uh, pro program. So right now I think it's continuously running its thing and and go back to the browser window that is this. And now we're gonna try going to our web page. And the reason they made us a clear history was that uh, then the browser cannot serve us the cached page and you can see it's taking its time previously it was like right away and what they are aiming for is basically the connection to timeout uh, i can uh, i showed you the instruction earlier I'm just waiting for it to uh, time out and it's taking its time <clears throat> hmm. so that's the only annoying thing about you certify that uh, the The one we discussed the other night when it just tells you but doesn't explain very well the other one is this which is so I guess all right so it's a uh, timed out that's what they wanted now we're gonna go minimize it go back to our terminal we're gonna hit control C to get out of that program like stop it and we can close all window I'm gonna go back here try to submit my assignment while uh, I hope this video has helped you if it has please read comment subscribe and share and I will see you in the next one